Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tat Mom and the Bay Brigade. Um, <laughs> a little bit of a different kind of video. Um, I've been working all day in my room. I'm hot and tired, but um, I figured I'd film myself uh, refilling the cubes over here. Um, this is, this in the corner here is the new 16 cube organizer. I've started putting yarn back in it and uh, I got the 12 cube organizer right next to it. I emptied it thinking I was going to have to put it across the room and uh, these things are not made to uh, be moved full so I had to empty everything out of it before I could move it and so I've just been in the process of trying to put things back on the shelf so I got things in the corners in the far corner of the 16 cube one already I reorganized we kind of redid the one on the back wall here but uh, I figured I would just let this run and y'all could watch me put stuff on the shelf. I mean, you know, <laughs> I'll talk to you as I do it. I'm drinking some strawberry water. I look like a hot mess. But, you know, what else am I supposed to look like after being working for the past five or six hours where on, on my room? I rearranged everything. <laughs> I put my little chest of drawers that was right here. I put that over there. And uh, I did away with a bunch of stuff, but I can't even get to my bed right now, so I have to do I have to do something. But um, I'm gonna get to putting stuff in on the in the in these cubes. Um, this is the one. Uh, this this little one right here. That's what I'm fixing to work on. I got all the Karen cakes. I'm gonna try to put in that one. Um, that way they're all kind of in in the same area and uh, not so spread out so um and i still i want to see i'm hoping that um i'm gonna have room for some of the yarn that's in in boxes because that way i can access that a little easier that was the whole purpose of getting another thing was to have to be able to take some out of the boxes um i don't know if i won't be able to do do much of that but I do have to put my babies back up. Um, oh, goodness. I got them in this box behind us here. And here's my beach bear. Isn't he pretty? I'm going to put him back up. Put him right here. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. No, y'all can't see that. Not to us. Well, y'all can see a little bit of him. Todd. <laughs> Todd needs dusting off. He's been over here get collecting dust. I need to dust him. I'll get I had to get something and go over him with some with a wet cloth or something and dust him off. And there's Amanda, my latest red fox. And her little purse. <laughs> Baby's got to go up back up first. And Lucy. The teacup gnome. Thank you, Ms. Mama, Mama Kayla. It's my birthday present last year. Sunny. She gotta go down here with her buddy. I gotta get all her little stuff though. She has flip flops and a ball. Alright. Alright. Flip flops and a ball.
One more. Basie. The showstopper. My baby doll. Y'all get a better look. See that? All my babies back up where they go. Well, and then I got this little sunflower gnome that I I bought at Holly's. She don't really count. <laughs> okay, back to this. Alrighty. So that about is done. Carrot cake number one. I think we'll put that here. It's got a partner somewhere. my laptop at the moment so I'm gonna just move that cord out of my way and get this box behind me it's full of cakes not the kind you eat <laughs> top has got sweet rolls in it. So I think I'm going to put the sweet rolls over here. And this one. I'm not going to put sweet rolls over here with the carrot cakes. Sweet rolls. So soft. Hobie cakes. That's my lollipop. I think I'll just stick it here in front of the Mary Maxim yarn. This is Plymouth's yarn hotcakes here, and I'm gonna stick them in front of this uh, Red Heart yarn that I just bought from Mary Maxim not too long ago. There's another color of the hotcakes. Cakes. 
Okay, and the rest of this is, in this particular box tote that I have at me is latte cakes. There. This is the cream. And this is the blackberry. Put them in the same. This is the macaroon. I just want some organization to everything. Everything's been kind of out of whack. Not knowing where everything was. Eventually, I'll get two more of each of them, maybe. Maybe. I like to collect them. Alright. That's it for the latte cakes. some stuff that I just bought not too long ago. These little baby cakes in the rosebud color. I hadn't had an opportunity to, to figure out what I wanted to do with these. This bag's busted already. I had some tape somewhere. I could just stick them back in here. And, yeah, I'll stick it back in there and I'll just fold that over until I could tape it. rather than me in plastic right here by the back door. These others I don't have in plastic, but it'll be all right. Thinking about getting a sheet or something and when I'm not filming, just cover these up. cinnamon swirl and the same thing if I can it's a real thick yarn so it takes up a lot of space and I got this uh, sun and surf color that I started a project in it's in the living room somewhere <laughs> surprise surprise <laughs> And then I got this color that I hadn't started anything in yet. The lilacs and lime. I hadn't started anything in that yet. Now, I want y'all just to stress that this is three years of yarn collecting. I didn't just overnight uh, obtain this yarn and then I, and I don't think I paid full price for any of this stuff I just want to stress that I don't pay full price for yarn unless I absolutely have to have to have it for something I'm working on I don't and I clearance shop as much as possible I'm always in, on the hunt for a discount. All right. I'll put these in with these. 
this makes sense. There's that box. You'd be surprised how much room those things take up. <laughs> they take up a lot of room. Be right back. Just gotta go over here and grab this last box up. And the whole box ain't full with them. There's scrap yarn in this box that I forgot about. And caked up yarn that I forgot about. I'll put these up here with these baby cakes. <laughs> They're too big, they won't fit side by side in here. These big cakes won't fit side by side. You have to fit them catty corner from each other. Some cakes. And I already have one blouse made out of this. I hadn't decided what I'm gonna do with these last three cakes. I thought about taking the blossom cakes that I have left and just making a blanket. But I am gonna take these these turquoise ones here and make myself a blouse. I did make Crystal one, the yarny chicken and crazy cat lady. I made her one for her birthday out of this yarn. She liked it, it fit her good. And I already know from making my other shirt out of this one, this, this uh, McCall color, that it takes three to make my blouse. What are we up, 18 minutes? Oh, I'm, I'm moving good. Okay. I didn't know I thought, I didn't know I had five of these. Yeah, just okay. I have to put that one in that way. squeeze these into this little cube here since they're all the same thing. There you go. Let's put, these, put that in there. And this is the blue, the denim blue um, color. This is discontinued. This denim. I made uh, two different tops with these. I don't know if I'll make myself a top out of this blue color because I think two tops out of this yarn is enough. <laughs> it in there upside down but don't put it past me to make somebody else one all right okay, okay. that's going swimmingly all right now this is just regular this is cake Karen angel cotton cakes This is the original 
Herring cakes, the ones that are 80 20 with 20% oh, being wool. I'm gonna put these down here. I think I have five of these that I got on clearance for three bucks a piece. It'll be either a sweater or um, a blanket, one of the two. I don't know yet. These are the painterly cakes. I went crazy last year with the paint, the cotton cakes. I was really crazy about them last year. But the, I had to try to get them on sale this year, the, the cotton cakes, and they didn't. all that's in this box. This other stuff in this box is scrap yarn. I'm not putting that on the shelf. Uh, and fortunately and unfortunately, I think I have a few more cotton cakes and boxes. But I'm going to take a break here, and um, I'll be back with y'all in a few minutes. Okay, so I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, uh, I went ahead and finished up because um, I had to get call Johnny in here and get his help with some boxes. And um, so I finished up. There wasn't um, but like maybe four other cakes in the box. Yeah, there was like just these these i have four of this particular cotton painterly cake in this uh rosette color yeah i have this uh that i bought last year and i got four of these so i put them down down there let to see that now down there oh lord have mercy i don't know if you can see that down here Anyway, I have to watch this back to make sure I didn't give nobody head rushes with my camera movements. But, um, I'm gonna do it anyway. But I'm, I did, uh, I don't know if y'all can, let me move it, move it. I'm trying to figure out a way to figure, let's see, because I'm trying to figure out. But there's some line brand yarn, that, uh, some of the Mandela watercolors that I've had for a long time that have been in the box. And um, some Bernat Forever Fleece over here that um, I bought on um, Hobby Lobby clearance. And then um, some yarn that Cheryl sent me, some um, Basics Chunk, Premier Basics Chunky that is all in plastic. And then... Um, so I put that out, and then I put, uh, I had some Red Heart with Love that I put out, some Lime Brand Feel Like Butter that I put out. Uh, that is about it for now. Oh, some more sweet rolls. I have a, a bit of a sweet roll collection. I don't know if y'all could see that. But I got, it's, they're, they're mostly in plastic down here. Um, I have a sweet roll problem too. <laughs> I guess since I'm, you know, trying to overcome diabetes by monitoring my diet, that uh, my other, I have a sweet roll problem. <laughs> and that, and my, my tripod is just doing what it wants to do. Um... I don't know if y'all noticed that, that I lifted it up and then it slowly went back down. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's about all. Uh, I'm going to cut here and do a little clip uh, and give y'all a little once over. I still have uh, yarn and totes. Um, I have three little cubes at the bottom of this 12 cube thing here that are empty. 
I'm going to leave them empty for a while. Because there's yarn over there in totes that really is not worth showing off. It's just regular old plain old acrylic stuff. Um, you know, everyday type stuff. This is the pretties. This is what we call the pretties, right? Anyway, uh, but everything is where I can get to it better now. Um, much, much, much better. So, um, I can reach everything now and everything's more, the room is, is, uh, I got rid of a lot of, you know, just went through a lot of stuff and rearranged, really rearranging everything is really what did it. I did take this, we had a, uh, a shower curtain that I bought that it's kind of, kind of a decorative shower curtain that was hanging up right back here that, uh, said love. I took that down me and Johnny took that down because it really didn't it was crooked and didn't accomplish what I said it wanted it to you know I wanted it as you know to kind of look nice and but you couldn't even tell that it said love on it so um it was kind of pointless it was just there and so I said well we're just going to take that off and um uh, I'll figure out something else to do uh as far as hanging stuff on the walls. I don't know yet. Um, I've never been one to really do that. I don't, I'm not a real decorative type person. Uh, this is about as close as I've ever gotten is decorating with yarn. So anyway, I'm going to cut this clip and then I'm going to turn the camera around and uh, do a little once over and just give y'all, you know, a full view of the yarn and uh, y'all can, you know, enjoy that for a minute. Um, and just please remember that I've been collecting this for a while, <laughs> but it is better organized now and, uh, and it looks nice. So, uh, I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gents, here we are. So I got stuff in plastic down here. The floor is still a bit dirty. I got to sweep it again, but there's some of my new stuff that I just bought. The, uh, big twist, uh, stuff that I just bought with a couple of Premier uh, cream uh, basics in there. And there's some of the uh, loops and thread facets with some other stuff mixed in. And some cotton yarn in the corner of there. And some Hobby Lobby yarn. And some uh, um, uh, Red Heart Ombre. Uh, some of my Karen um, Ogo Halo stuff there. My little fox. And over there in the corner, I put my um, Hershner's uh, Heathers that I just got not too long ago. And then I got my Premier Puzzle Cotton and some Momente there and uh, some Karen um, Simply Soft down there in the, on the far right. And um, of course, uh, more Sweet Rolls in the corner there. And then way down there in the corner, I got some Puzzle Yarn and some other kind of yarn that is very similar to Puzzle. Um, I put all that kind of uh, five weight yarn together. And uh, then I got the Premier ba Basics Chunky and that one little cube in plastic there. And then some Premier Basics um, worsted there in plastic. And then I got that um, Bernat uh, Forever Fleece that I got at Hobby Lobby on discount for like $3 and something. And so I just decided I needed to um, have it out in a cube so that I would actually get to it and use it. And then I got some Red Heart with Love and Red Heart Gemstone. And then there's that um, Line Brand Watercolor Yarn that I've had forever and still not done anything with. There's more Sweet Rolls. I told y'all I had a Sweet Roll problem. Uh, <laughs> there's some uh, those cakes that I showed you earlier. And there's some loose uh, sweet rolls there. There's the sweet roll again. And then of course here is the Karen cakes that y'all saw me putting in this cube organizer here. And that's all that's in this one. I just decided it would just all be all Karen cakes on this one. So that, and of course you see all my little babies up there. And then I got that one up there. And there's my window with my little foxes that Cindy with Pups of Crochet sent me back when we, I first started out and then I got Ruth Bader Ginsburg bobblehead 
and I got a, a oh what do you call those things it's a music box and a, a snow globe it says live love laugh and then another little cross uh, stained glass thing that says friends and um, and of course my silly gnome hat from Christmas and that's about it for the background y'all uh, I will uh, come back and close with y'all now okay <laughs> I'm back so it's pretty late here now I don't even know what time it is at sometime after 11 o'clock um, strawberry water but um, I'm gonna sleep hard tonight I think <laughs> oh I'm gonna give my babies my, my fur baby is some treats because they have been excellent. They have completely stayed out of the way. Um, just amazing. But um, I didn't want to give y'all the, the grand tour of the, where the yarn is going to be. Um, my room is still not quite. I got a, this little area over here. It still needs some work. Got some things that I got to go through and, and, and sort out. And, uh, but I emptied, I want to say three or four boxes and, um, resorted everything out. And so, um, like I said, some yarn is just going to stay in, 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 uh, totes, um, because it's just not, uh, it's not necessary to have everything out of the totes. Uh, I don't think it's completely necessary. I am considering, um, putting, getting some sheets some clean sheets and covering my yarn um, when I'm not filming just to protect it from the dust that comes in and out of this room because let me tell you I've been sweeping all day uh, and I still have more sweeping to do so um, we will finish this up probably tomorrow evening John and I and um, as far as the sweeping and probably get the Swiffer and go over the floor with the Swiffer and um, because I don't do mopping. <laughs> Reese Swiffer. This floor is, was, that he hadn't too long ago put this floor in. This particular linoleum uh, floor in right before we moved in last year. So it's, it's still an, a fairly new floor. So uh, a Swiffer should do just fine. We might have to use two or three pads, but we should be able to get it cleaned up. And, um, but it looks a whole lot better in here. And I have a whole lot more room in here now than I did before uh, because I went through a lot of old clothes and um, to figure out what I, I could still wear and what I and I what I couldn't and you know that kind of thing and um, went through socks and I, I went through a whole lot of stuff that had just been sitting in here and collecting dust and uh, so um, I just figured today was the day <laughs> Because since I knew the the cube the the sixteen cube organizer that I ordered was coming in today, and so um, also I want to thank Carla. Uh, she knows who she is, uh, Carla. That that I did get uh, something else for the dogs today. I got a box of um, a bag, another a bag, a big old bag, thirty pound bag of I'm um, uh, dog food for the dogs today that, from Chewy that she had sent the the dogs. And uh, so I won't have to buy dog food next month. I had already bought their dog food for this month because they go through about a 30 pound bag of dog food per month. Uh, they're not pigs. Uh, they get fed twice a day and then snacks in between. And uh, so that that 30 pounds of, of dog food will last them a whole month. So uh, she just took care of them for next month since we had already bought this month's bag. So I don't have to buy dog food next month. So since dog food is nearly $50 a bag, that's amazing. Um, <laughs> that, I tell you, that, that, that truly, truly helps me. And um, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I was like, what in the world? <laughs> so uh, thank you so much. That means the world to me. And uh, the, the Beg Brigade appreciates that. <laughs> they are laid out on my bed like it's their job. They have been watching me work all day long. And uh, thank goodness for ibuprofen and Johnny's help. Because uh, mm, that, that putting that 16 thing, cube organizer together, I, I don't like putting things together. <laughs> <laughs> but 
but this one was a little easier to put together than the last one so i will give them that they did send me a, a cute little uh hammer hold on i did get a handy dandy hammer with this one this is metal the last two uh cube organizers they sent me wood handles wood hammers little tiny wood hammers but this one i got a metal hammer i don't know but there you have it but uh i'm gonna go um i got two more rows on my second square for my cotton top um so i don't know if i got it in me to do that <laughs> maybe maybe not but uh I'm going to go take my nightly meds and chill in front of the TV for a little bit and just kind of unwind a bit and let this video upload and um, relax a little bit before I go to bed because we do, we do have a doctor's appointment tomorrow just to uh, check back about the blood work they did last time with John and I and uh, I'm going to hopefully remember to ask him about the weight loss surgery. So... Um, <laughs> there's that but uh that's about all i got for y'all tonight i just wanted to let y'all know what i've been doing um i didn't want y'all think i've forgotten about you because of course i didn't uh, i just been busy today um uh, working hard uh this was hard work this whole rearranging my room and going through things and re you know moving furniture and moving boxes. There's a lot of stuff that I did before I called Johnny in here to help me because I was trying to be independent and not lean on him so much. But there comes a time when, you know, you had to accept your limitations. And I had to accept my limitations and get Johnny's help. So, um, I did that and he came and helped me. And, uh, then a while ago, uh, the intermission between the first clip and the second clip, um, he came in here and helped me with the boxes of yarn and, and he got me all squared away where I can get back to my bed. So, um, uh, at least I'm good to go as far as getting to my bed and everything. Um, but I'm sure y'all are, uh, y'all maybe have better things to do than listen to me. <laughs> but my back hurts. Everything hurts right now. But, uh, that just means that I'm good and wore out and hopefully I'll sleep. Um. But uh, I love y'all, and so does Jesus. And please remember to adopt, don't shop. Your best friend's waiting for you at the shelter or the rescue. And I will see y'all soon. Bye.